Hey guys, I'm just Jersh and welcome back to maybe the last Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus daily, at least for a little bit. Happy New Year's, everybody. Uh, we'll talk about um, the series that we talked about a lot in the last episode. We'll talk about it. Some more things are cleared now and some other things have happened since yesterday. So I want to talk about them in today's uh, epi as we do maybe a themed New Year's Eve run. I'm going to guess. Hold on. I'm going to guess uh, New Year's Eve is uh, known for many things. One of such things is fireworks. I'm going to guess we have some sort of bomb tears or fire mind. P pray to God we don't have that. Um, that's my guess for today. Yeti with another great score. He's been killing it this week. We finished at 99 yesterday, just barely squeaked in that top 100. Uh, let's try this again today. See what we got going on. Oh, okay, okay, so th they decided to go. Interesting. So we've got theirs options and more options. I'm tempted to re-roll this, but you can't. It's a damage upgrade. You gotta take Pentagram. It's a Pentagram. It's a, it's a damage up, and it's a higher deal with the Devil Chance going forward. In my opinion, you gotta take that. Ouch. In my opinion, you just gotta take that. Ouch. Don't die. <laughs> too early to die um some hp would be cool judas's shadow would also be kind of sick okay so here's what's interesting about this run well obviously uh the the the, the, the i can word today i promise you it's early but i can word today uh the number one interesting thing is that we have both uh, more options and theirs options, which means our item rooms and our boss uh, items will all be doubled. You know what, just kill me actually. I actually do wanna die and come back as Dark Judas. I would have rather done it on the next floor, but to be honest, I'm playing so unbelievably bad to start this one off that we may as well just get it out of the way. <laughs> and at least I've got 10.38 damage now, so that's sick. So what's cool about that, and I guess they're going for the more, um, the more abstract element of New Year's, which is often about, you know, making change, making choices. I wanna reroll those. I don't really like either of those either, but we'll take this one. Typically that more abstract element of New Year's is about, you know, uh, making choices. Uh, typically to try to better yourself in the, in the subsequent year. I'd like to do that room. I really truly would. I really truly would like to do that room. And so I guess that's why they're having us uh, start off with there's options and more options is because every room uh our item rooms and boss rooms are going to have two choices to make so we can kind of craft our run as we want to that's that's nice i like that it's a nice way to go forward into the into the new year thinking like that you know you control your own destiny to some degree unless you work at my company in which case you are a piece of uh human meat that i own not i the proverbial i and how dare you think you have a say in anything. Uh, I don't really want either of those. Uh, sack of pennies could be cool, but we have so many rerolls on this floor that uh, kind of feels silly not to try to take advantage of the rerolls, you know? Please tell me we got one more room that we can, yes. Um, this is good. We're gonna get our deal with the devil here. So many battery chargers. We can really, uh, we can really make this run whatever we want it to be, and that's great. Where are we going, Isaac? Okay, Isaac is good, which means we're actually trying to get to the void. Again, I talked about it in yesterday's but The, um... Oh, by the way, camera's in a new spot. Hopefully that's not too unbelievably jarring for you guys. I do love me some empty vessel. Yeah, I love empty vessel. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna reroll you. I'm gonna say no thankies. Um, I don't really want the HP because it kind of messes up our empty vessel play. Um... So I think that I will pass on that. However, I will now use the ability to fly to blow up these bad boys, get a whole bunch of consumables out of it. That's fantastic. Um, now I need keys. Keys keys would be clutch. Start rerolling some of these. Libra, huh? That's a little too wild even for me, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm down for getting a little wild, but that's a, that's a little too much for me. Okay, reroll again. Yeah, holy light's pretty great. So we'll do that. See if we can get into a secret room here. We're gonna get a book of secrets. Gonna pop it just so we can see the rest of the floor. We got one more battery charge that's gonna let us, um... <gasps> we got one more battery 
should, probably should take a hit there. That'll let us reroll our boss items. Hopefully we can get, um, honestly I need keys. So like, latch key? The box works. The, the box actually works. Um, it does give a key. I'll take the pill. Even though the pills screwed us yesterday. Uh, Yeti, Yeti was in the, slid into the comments yesterday and was like, Oh, if you didn't take that telepills and you did the first deal with the devil, you get Abaddon and the Mark. Eh, it's easy, just a nice plus seven damage to start off your run. Yeah, I didn't need that. I mean, we still ended up with a great run, so like, maybe I should stop being a little whiny baby. And we got another battery charge, which is really sad, because I would have liked to use this. Um, I will pick it up, and we'll probably go reroll Book of Secrets. Let's check what's in here. Answer nothing right now. Nothing right now. I need the keys. The keys are pretty important for me right now. The keys are quite important for me. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go reroll Book of Secrets. Actually, no. With my two keys, I'm gonna go into the, um, the bo boss trap room first. Don't know why this run has like a weird apprehension for giving me keys. It's like, no, 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 we are, we're definitely not doing that. I don't, I don't care who you are, where you're from. Don't care what you did. You ain't getting keys, baby. Uh, I don't know why we're not getting any keys in this one, but it's a little upsetting to me personally. We'll get through it though. A key? Thank you. Pay forward. You, why? Just why? Where's my keys? <laughs> okay. Alicia, where are you at? Let's re-roll this. Five bombs is better than nothing. It's worth some decent points, probably. And uh, now we'll head to the next floor. Feeling pretty good about life. I like this run a lot. I, I like this. I like more options, their options, plus D6. That's a great combination to... Uh, you can get a lot of divergence. I mean, you gotta pick up Sack Dagger. It's just a great item. It's just a tremendously good item. I'm doing enough... Great, great, great stuff. I'm doing enough damage right now that we probably don't even need it, like... I'm probably doing enough damage that Sack Dagger is... more of a nice to have than anything else. Let's stop taking silly damage if we could. Okay, now that the run is more or less, I would describe as set. You guys ever play that little card game, set? Quality. Quality, in my opinion. Um, now that the run is more or less set, Give me invincibility. Give me invincibility so I can leave here for free. Give me invincibility so I can leave here for free. Give me invincibility so I can leave here for free. Okay, I don't have time. <laughs> um, let's talk about... I mean, I got some things to say about New Year's for sure. I can't. I can't. The, the pills have hurt me too much. You're, you're done. You're benched. Still no keys. There's the invincibility. Still no keys, so I can't do anything here either. Um, let's talk about... What do we want to talk about first? Okay, so the, the trailer for Repentance comes out tomorrow. I'm very excited for it. Haven't seen it yet. Um, I've been hearing rumors that Repentance DLC is likely not coming out until Q2 of 2021. And I hate to say it, but Q2 of 2021 probably means like Q3 of 2021. So let's not get our, our hopes up too high is what I would say uh, that it's actually there. Um, I, I do think, yeah, I gotta take that. I need, I need keys badly. Um, I actually like the syringe, but I'm gonna reroll. I like that syringe better, maybe? I actually don't know what it does. I think I would have rather had the first syringe, now that I think about that a little, a little further. That's okay. Um, I'm not gonna have a reroll now for the deal with the devil, and that kind of stinks. Yeah. If we get one, we don't know if we're going to get one. 36% chance, it's possible. Um, yeah, I would say don't get your hopes up too far of the, the Repentance actually coming out in Q2. And that means like six months. Um, give me the tears. That means about six months <laughs> between now and when Repentance is supposed to theoretically come out. That's a little long for me, in my opinion, to continue doing dailies. That's what, uh, like 180 dailies? That's a little long for me, so, um, my, my prediction, 
My guess, if you would like to just, you know, you, you want to plan ahead, my guess would be the Isaac series is going to take the tiniest of hiatuses. Just the teeny, teeniest, tiniest of hiatuses. I like infamy. If I were a betting man, I, I would say this may be the last episode of Isaac for a bit. Um, just while we wait, um, just while we wait to see if Repentance actually comes out, or, you know, maybe the rumors are not correct, maybe it's coming out tomorrow, I don't know. It, depending on when it's coming out, you know, what, what, uh, what I'm here to tell you, whatever the release date of Repentance is, I will want to get back into Isaac probably in like the month leading up to the release date. So if they say it's coming out in May, we will come back to Isaac in April, and we'll probably spend a full month maybe doing dailies, maybe doing other stuff, just getting used to the game again. Um, but for now, uh, our first episode of Chess, I do like Rubber Cement, but not enough. Uh, for now, our first episode of Chess came out yesterday. No spoilies, but uh, I'm a little rusty, <laughs> but you should still go back and watch it anyway, it was a good time. Um, our first episode of that came out yesterday, and that's going to be a new series for us going forward, at least for a little bit here. That's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. This room kind of just sucks, huh? Um, that's going to be a series for us going forward for, for the next little bit here, um, which is cool. You know, I, I had a lot of fun with it, mostly because we won. Spoil these, but... Um, I'm sure my, my fun will wane when we get... There's a difference between chess and a thing like this, though. Remember that Eve run from the other day where it's like the game exists purely to make me hate my life? Chess isn't like that. I like chess because it is a zero-sum game every time you start. I don't think I used that phrase correctly. Every time you start, it is a blank slate. Any horrible situations you get into are a result of one of two things. A, your opponent is better than you and you cannot deny that, or B, you played poorly. Anything bad that happens in that game, the Ace of Diamonds, anything bad that happens in that game is purely a, a, a result of, it exists within the game itself. There's, oh, I didn't know you were a charged key. I wouldn't have picked you up. Uh, more spirit offense. I wouldn't have picked it up if I knew. I'm gonna go for Magic Mush here. Just because, like, we got a big clump of those. Nothing. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I'm not upset. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm doing good. I'm crying a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited about the chess series. Um, de gaz, huh? We'll hold on to that to the next floor. I'm excited about the chess series. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed as well. Uh, the other thing that's nice is, as I said in yesterday's episode, they're a little bit easier to record, both because they're going to be shorter. Um, you know, there's no 50-minute chess games. I'm doing 10-minute aside chess. I'm doing one game per video, uh, plus some analysis afterwards, just to, to try to learn a little bit about, you know, what I did right and or wrong. Like that. Uh, I need to do one more room just to make sure we have a charge. Ready to go for the next floor. I think I'm going to go for Magic Mush again here. Rip. All right, let's get our 77% chance of a deal with the Devil and see what happens. We got Gertie. Gertie's a nice boy. Pretty easy boss fight. It's Champion Gertie as well, which means we can pretty much just stand here for free and stab him with our knife. No deal with the devil. Kind of stinks. Reroll. Yeah, we'll take the tears up. It's a great run. I, I pretty much have nothing else to say other than I love this run. <laughs> and uh, this is the way Isaac was meant to be played. <laughs> this is where the, the love for the game arises from. Um, I do want to visit Curse Room. I'd rather have a charge just in case. It's like, you know, if it's Guppy's head, you could pick up a Guppy item, reroll it, and get another deal with the devil item. That's, that's something I would consider to be valuable. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, chess as well, it's not a, you know, it's gonna be coming out daily, but I can record like seven episodes in one day if I want to. So it's just a little easier on my recording uh, life, which is good, uh, because this feeds into this next thing. My life's about to get pretty busy. Um, so as you guys know, Marie and I purchased a house and uh, we've been waiting to close on said house. This is amazing. This is awesome. Now, things are epic. 
Okay, so we got bookworm. We want to pick up all the books. We're going to re-roll them. Then we're going to use a battery charge. We're going to re-roll them again. We're going to keep doing that. And eventually we will have four pedestals of potential items to pull from there. That's sick. That's what some in the business would call sick. Okay, we'll pick all of them up. We'll do it again. We got to get through like 12 books, but because there's so many pedestals, I see it as very doable. It's going to take a little bit of time as well, but who cares? Do it again. We've already gotten one item. We got Tiny Planet, um, which means we're through all the books. Obviously, we don't want Tiny Planet, but the next time we come back and reroll, we now have four item pedestals that we will be rerolling from, and that is great. We can we can really make some some big money moves here, and that is interesting to me. Okay. Um, so originally we were supposed to close on the house on January 15th, and as scuffed as the entire process has been, I've talked about it a little bit and the bank just won't respond to us, we are surprisingly ahead of schedule, and it's looking like we now may close as soon as the 8th. The 8th of January we may be closing. Um... Um, give me the bombs because they're worth points and we don't want to reroll that room because we have f again four pedestals waiting in the next room over okay miter quickly realizing is not that essential because we have so many other good things going for us all right hook me up i mean i love bloody lust so i will be taking that the rest don't really interest me the rest don't really interest me. I'm going to visit the curse room just because we're probably not coming back this direction. If there's an item in here, big rips. There is not. There is a button which actually did something good for us. Thank you. How much time I got? Oh, we got time. One might even say that I'm made of time. Oh! For some reason, that sundial pattern of, of shots, the six, the hexagonal shots that ring out, impossible. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I mean, the 8th of January is in eight days, essentially, so we haven't started doing any packing yet, so Marie and I have been scrambling a little bit over the last couple days to start our packing process, which, as you know, if you've ever packed before, takes some time. <laughs> it's a time-consuming ordeal for sure, so we're getting ready for that, and uh, we know that it's going to be a little crazy and I, I don't like i still got work on top of everything as well so like add that to the equation as well still waking up every morning to like 50 missed messages so that's a good time as well very good for the good old anxietyometer. um but yeah so that's exciting I, like we're excited to get into the house but it's it's moving quickly a little little faster than we had originally envisioned perhaps man my speed is low Losing a lot of time due to that. I mean, obviously, we're taking all of these. <laughs> all right, so now we're broken. Um, that is why you reroll the, the libraries, ladies and gentlemen. It's <laughs> we are very much set now. We have nothing to worry about for the rest of the run. Not that we did before. We were probably fine as it was, but now we really have nothing to worry about. We also pretty much have no excuse to ever take damage again, but, you know. Who cares? Was hoping for a battery charge in here. We didn't get one. That's a little upsetting, which means I'm not going to have a battery charge for my deal with the devil. Very sad. Very sad, honestly. Maybe not so sad. Not sad at all, actually, because there's nothing we could have gotten in this deal with the devil anyway. Uh, here, I think you just want uh, the money. Just because it's worth some points. Maybe you get a luck up out of it. Rip. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're packing now, and uh, I honestly just don't think I'm going to be able to, to keep up a daily chess video plus a daily Isaac video, so expect a tiny hiatus, and then obviously we're going to be moving in, and we have to unpack everything, and it's, you know, the craziness continues. It doesn't it doesn't end just because we hit, we move in, just because January 8th comes and goes. Uh, we're still going to be probably moving over the course of the rest of that month. Was there a curse on this floor? No. I'm going to keep holding the Degazru until the, the game tells me I don't have to anymore. A battery charge in there is sick. We can get a lot of good rerolls yet again out of it. Remember when I said, like, probably shouldn't be taking damage for the rest of the run? I still mean that. I still mean that. <laughs> in case you were wondering, does he still mean that? I do. I do still mean that we shouldn't be taking damage for the rest of the run. So, just, you know, don't worry. Okay, um... 
I would I would have accepted taking damage in that room because I still believe that enemy is uh, that turret is just impossible to dodge. But yeah, so things are going to be wild. Uh, I, I apologize if you, I, I mean, I love it if you've been enjoying the Isaac series. It brings me some joy, and I, I'm sorry if you're going to miss it for a little bit, but it will return. That's all you need. That's the main thing you need to know is, is it's not disappearing forever, five ever, six ever. It's just, um, what do they say? What's that sappy thing they say? It's not, it's not goodbye. It's just so long for now or something like that. I don't know how it goes. There's a, there's a, a sappy saying in there somewhere. But that's essentially what we've got here. It's not going away forever, but uh, it will be on a little hiatus for sure. Um, those don't really interest me either. I, I know you're like looking at the clock and you're maybe a little concerned about time. I wouldn't be. I, I wouldn't be. We're going to melt mom. Our chance of getting a deal with the devil is pretty slim. Marked lol. <laughs> Marked lol. It is a tears up. Don't tempt me. It is a tears up. That would be a fact. You would not be lying if you said the words, it is a tears up. It, it literally is. All right, so now we know where our boss fight is, so now I'm definitely not concerned about time. We know where we have to go. We know what we got to make happen. Um, I think you try for a couple more rerolls here, aka battery charges. You need a couple battery charges to make that happen. There's one. You found your secret room as well, which is pretty cool. Three extra cents out of that bad boy. Uh, I don't have forever to make this happen. I'm, I'm really slow. A speed up would be kind of cool. A speed up would be rather cool. Again, you don't have forever here. Holding double charges is also very sick. So I'm going to take that as well, just for future. Um, j just for the future. That's an investment in the future, one might say. Sure, I'll take, uh, I'll take Sulfuric Acid. And then I'd like one more reroll just in case we get a deal with the devil. Uh, or we can use it on boss rush as well. You know, don't need to limit ourselves. Just one more reroll would be cool. I mean, restock is also sick. It's going to allow me to get actually a double charge here. Okay, I got to go. I got to go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I cannot. I must go. Uh, my people need me. 30 seconds should be, again, still more than enough time to, to beat this boss. If we get a deal with the devil, we'll go in. We pray that it's not Krampus. Took a little damage there. That's okay. We did not get one. That's fine. We will take the Polaroid. We will come in here. Oh. 99 bombs is really good for points. 99 bombs is really good for points. Number one is really good for tears. Let's go wild. Reroll. Let's go wild again. Reroll. Technology do anything for us? We have homing tears. It does do something for us. I forgot we picked up Spoonbender. Okay. All right. Now this is epic. Okay, so now the run, I mean, it was very good before. It's uh, extremely good now. I don't know if Proptosis works with technology because you have infinite range, so I don't really know if it just like factors in like the closer you are, the more damage it does. I'm sure it does, uh, but this is this is great now. We should more or less melt uh, most of Boss Rush, so I would say don't be too concerned. We now have Piercing Shots as well, which is very cool. We have infinite range, which is very cool. It's all good. It's like all good. Horsey? Everything that uh, is happening right now is what most in the business would call very good. So we'll get through boss rush quickly. We'll get through the womb quick. The, the, the run is taken care of. That's what I'll say. You don't need to. Uh, there's no concern left. Level of concern, negative a thousand. We are fine. Um... <laughs> Probably shouldn't have been any concern to start with, though. Like, we got Dark Judas on the first floor. <laughs> so, if anything, like, the only thing that stinks is that our infinite range is very much hampered by, um, by Proptosis, but our close range is unbelievable. All we're looking for now is a tears up. A, a little bit of tears up, and we are unbelievably set. Hello, Mask of Infamy. I see you. I see you there. I see it, I'm telling you, you don't have anything to worry about. You can just chill. Stop. Close your mouth. You look silly. Okay, taken care of. Also taken care of. Um, 
so yeah, the moving process should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to get, uh, I don't know what the new setup is going to look like the new place. Probably pretty similar to this one. You can actually already see the lights behind me that are usually there are, are off for the purposes of this particular video and probably for all future videos because uh, I've unplugged everything. It's all unplugged. It's starting to get real. Packed up a lot of the, a lot of stuff yesterday. Going through clothes later today after I finish working. Going to go through some clothes and see uh, see what still fits and what I like or don't like. Maybe probably donate most of them just so I can clean up a little bit of a little bit of space. And wow. Okay, so we don't need dead onion. Roll. I mean, you like the syringe, yeah. <clears throat> it's a, it's a second syringe on the way to spun. There was a tinted rock there, which is big rips. Um. <clears throat> So yeah, there's your life updates um, and where Isaac is going. I guess we could talk about... Um, <clears throat> sorry, I have like a literal frog in my throat. I don't know what happened. Ribbit, ribbit. Sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> um, don't really want to take pills anymore, ever again. Um, what was I going to talk about? Isaac... Oh, I guess we could talk about New Year's a bit. Here's the thing. Here's why I don't understand New Year's for many reasons. Number one, one day a year they drop the ball at Times Square. Everyone loses their freaking mind. Meanwhile, I drop the ball every single day in every aspect of my life and no one says a peep. Please explain that one to me. I don't get it. Uh, but in all seriousness, yeah, I, I like don't resonate much with um, with New Year's Eve. I, I like I get the the meaning behind it, and you know I think it, it's got a good message. I like the idea of bettering yourself as a human being, and um, you know going into the new year with new goals in mind for how you might you know live your life a little differently. And I think it's good. People, <sighs> does Magic Mush even stack? Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, so we lose the um, ability to fly, which stinks, but... I have 35 damage, so who cares? Who cares, is what I would say. <clears throat> I, I think the message behind New Year's is um, is cool and stuff, but uh, to, to me... Uh, I'm star I always think of myself as an optimist. Prime. Uh, the more I talk, the more I realize I'm a very pessimistic individual, and that's okay. Some people would call it realism. But I've never understood... Like, to me... It's just another day, you know? It's an, it's an arbitrary day that we have chosen to, to roll over our calendar. Let's go nuts. Yeah. I like that better. It's a tears up. Uh, we had two rerolls, so I figured we could either get like a guppy item out of it or, or something similar. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. A little pessimistic of me, perhaps. But I always just have. In my brain, it's just an, another day on the calendar. So like, why act any different? <laughs> if anything, again, a little pessimistic. But I hate to say it. Especially if, like, you, you have a, a very stereotypical, and I don't mean stereotypical as in, like, you know, you shouldn't do this. I think it's a good goal to have, but, like, I'm going to exercise more in 2021. Uh, you ever tried to go to the gym in January of a new year? Nightmare. So, in my mind, uh, I tend to just instead go, you know what? Um, it's March 1st. I want to get into better shape. That's what I'm going to do. it. Or if I go now, you know, my New Year's resolution is going to be to get into better shape. I'll wait until February when most people have given up and then I'll then I'll start going to the gym again <laughs> or like I saw a great uh, comic on Facebook, which is a little bit of a cesspool typically, but actually provided some quality content in this particular case. Actually, I saw it on Instagram a little bit less of a cesspool. It's a cesspool in a different way. Um, it was this guy and he was. Uh, he was, he was uh, sitting on the couch, gorging himself, eating a lot of potato chips, essentially. And his friend came in the room and was like, hey, brother, it's New Year's. What's your New Year's resolution going to be? And he's like, I'm going to I'm gonna try and lose weight. And then the friend goes, if you want to lose weight, why are you eating all those potato chips? 
And he goes, well, it's not January yet. I want to I want to start from a higher place so that my <laughs> my change ends up looking more significant. And I hate to, again, be pessimistic, but I've done that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, if I'm going to lose weight in 2021, I can be a piece of garbage now. It's not 2021 yet. Then when 2021 hits, then I'll be a good boy. I've done that myself. And so I, I think the idea of like, ooh, now that this particular day has happened, I, th I think I have this exact same conversation in these videos every single year. So <laughs> ignore me if you've heard this one before, essentially. But yeah, I, I do. I do still. I'll, I'll try and think of a, a New Year's resolution every year as like a general framework to stick by. Let's go ham. Guppy's paw, it's a guppy's paw. Make me guppy, please, you are such a nice boy. Stay open, stay open, stay open, stay open. Ew, peace. All right, so we're one item away from becoming the gupster. <clears throat> we also now have the ability to fly again, which is very exciting, and our empty vessel is returned. Um, that's gonna help us on the hush fight, as is the Polaroid invincibility, and you know, the 39 damage too. We can get guppy's head in one of these chests, so we definitely wanna keep looking. Uh, we could also get it on one of the golden chests on the hush floor, so Guppy is not out of the question. And now that we have Guppy's tail, these chests are going to be coming and going like crazy, like the gas station. Anyway, my, um, my New Year's resolution for next year, if you want to call it a, a New Year's resolution, just something, again, this is like something I've noticed in myself that I just want to make a change in. And I should just do so right away. But I, I'm pushing it off until next year because that's what you do with New Year's resolutions. And then, and then you give up a weekend. Um, I would like to, in 2021, play less video games. That is that is my current goal that I'm setting for myself in 2021. Um, I know that's silly considering I've said that next year we are going to be doing Isaac series on YouTube plus chess. An Isaac series plus chess plus plus blah 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 all these other things. I'll just take root bag, I suppose. Um, it's not great, but it's it's fine. I was thinking about re-rolling it, but I'd rather save these two battery charges for the next floor on the on the hush floor where we're gonna have a bunch of stuff to potentially re-roll. Um, that makes more sense to me. Um, grab the spirit heart. We're going to the hush fight. All right, good stuff. Um, not only because I play, one second, work is messaging me. Curse of the Blind. I should have saved that to Gaz. Okay, hopefully that suffices. Hopefully I don't get a call in a couple seconds. All right, we have Curse of the Blind, which is just big stinky. Um, one of these could be Black Candle, so I think you go for it. Okay, so that I would describe as not working out for us. <laughs> I would describe that as not working out for us. Give me Guppy's head. Give me Guppy's head. Give me Guppy's head. Sack of sacks. Let's go! Drop this here. Uh, it made the bad sound, which means we got lump of coal, which I don't want. So I'm going to reroll both of them. See what we get. Mom's Razor, triple shot. Grab this, go in here. Again, we have no idea. Little Gertie, and Magic Fingies, which we will re-roll into the Ankh. Okay, not great, but uh, it's fine. I became Guppy, right? I should be Guppy now, um, which means the hush is going down. Now, my tears, hmm. Triple shot actually pretty bad for us. It's going to, to greatly, it's gonna greatly lower the amount of flies we're spawning here. I think, cause each individual shot is only, yep. Yeah. So we're essentially spawning one third of the flies we could have been. I think. Yeah, the problem is it's like our, our triple shot is condensing into a single beam. 
and that single beam is only generating one fly when we should have three separate technology lasers, which should, like you can see here, we have like five when we get bookworm. They should each be doing their own individual. I mean, when we get a lot of enemies to spawn, that's a good time. We like that a lot. You just hit me like a freaking bumper car, dude. Again, I there's no concern here. We're gonna we're kicking his butt, um, but still not as cool as it could have been. Um, anyway, <laughs> other news resolution: find a real job. Um, yeah, I want to play less video games. Uh, not only because I've been playing like eight hours of Genshin Impact a day while I've been on vacation here. Though that I would be lying if I said that wasn't a contributing factor to the realization, but I, I noticed, especially if I'm going to start streaming again, what I used to do, and it's silly to do, I think you go to the void. Void makes more sense. You go to the void. Um, what I typically do, and it's not great, is I will, uh, back when I was streaming, we should have, oh, I forgot we're doing the void. We should have taken Hermit card. We want a teleportation card. Ansu's rune is fine, and it'll help us a little bit here. Reroll, reroll, not what I'm looking for. Yeah, that was not a good play. That was not a good play. Do I have, like, champion belt or something? What's with all the champions? Um, back when I would stream, what I would do is I would... I would stream a game that we were, like, playing on the, the channel, and then afterwards I would be like, oh, but I'm also gonna game in my spare time as well. Ansu's again. I'm also gonna game in my spare time as well. Uh, so essentially I was just like doubling up on gaming. What, what I wanna do is if we're gonna bring back streaming, and I, I plan to, you know, streaming is, that's my, that's my hobby time. That's, that's my gaming hobby time. That's when I play games. Beyond that, um, anything else beyond that is just, um, you know, use that time for something more valuable. I've been trying to get more into cooking and or baking and or things like that. So instead of doubling down on the video game time, do that instead. Learn a new skill. Do some cool stuff. Apply for new jobs, you know. Um, I, I just, I love video games. They are, they are a great source of happiness in my life. Don't get me wrong. And uh, a great stress reliever for me. I, I appreciate them existing to an unbelievable degree. I'm a gamer till the day I die. Um, but I also have to admit that to some degree, they can take over your life a little bit. And uh, I've been feeling that uh, uh, at least to a small degree over the last however long. And I don't want to feel that way anymore. So I'm just going to be taking a little gaming hiatus, if you will. We'll take the damage up. We'll take the damage up, because why not? It's actually plus six damage, probably because of our Magic Mush Multiplier. The m -m 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 Magic Mush Multiplier. Sounds like a weird uh, mechanic on a game show. Awaz Rune, I don't think does anything for us. Neither does Empress. I was hoping for a teleportation card. We didn't get it. That's okay. Those boys still be shooting, no problem. But yeah, so like at least tentatively, that's my quote unquote New Year's resolution. If you'd like to, if you'd like to call it that, <clears throat> my goal is to, um, you know, if I, uh, if I truly view streaming as a hobby and I stream gaming, then that's my hobby. And if I'm gonna pick up a second hobby, it should be non-gaming related, in my personal opinion. We'll hold Hagalas. Uh, we don't want to do our boss fights yet, because again, once we start doing the boss fights, we just, um, if we accidentally hit Delirium, we're just alt f 4 so. Dude, we are very strong, and I love it. I like this run a lot. This was a good New Year's run. Hopefully, this is a, an indication of what's to come in 2021. <clears throat> That's the goal, at least. What's happening to my voice, dude? It's like, it's ceasing to exist as we, the longer I go. And I still got to record some chess after this. No, 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 I almost went right in for some reason. <clears throat> Jeez, dude, I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. I'm dying here a little bit. Okay, we still have about half the floor to explore, so cool. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good uh, New Year's. Uh, we're not really doing anything to celebrate New Year's because <clears throat> obvious reasons, I would say. Uh, but we'll be chilling. We'll be packing. That should be a lot of fun, right? I actually do kind of enjoy the 
it's stressful and like lifting stuff kind of sucks, but I, I do like the moving process. And uh, especially like, I'm, I'm so glad to finally have this housing stuff put to put to rest to some degree. Like we've been living, renting, uh, we've been renting this place for like multiple years now. And uh, it's always just kind of felt like, like I, I didn't want to do anything. Like I didn't want to make huge updates to, to this recording studio down here. Cause I was always like, you know, I'm going to move out in a month or however long, you know, less uh, short periods of time. Even let's go like a year ago when we first moved in. I'm only going to be here for a year. So like, why would I spend all this time making this place look awesome when I'm just going to have to move it all and redo it all again in a year? And that's the way I've been about a lot of things while we've been here, um, which I, I don't like. It's, it's going to be so nice being able to like plant my plant the flag in the ground and be like, this is where I live now. I'm going to be here for hopefully many years so let's start uh let's start doing some stuff and, and get this place set up like we want it to <clears throat> it's just nice to have some like <laughs> no it's just nice to have some sense of per permanency don't think that's a word but you know you know what i'm saying it's nice to 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 have something be solidified i'm excited for that um the, the new setup is probably going to look a little sketch for a bit. Yeah, I mean, we'll take the tears up. This is... This would have been great to have throughout, like, most of this run. Not on, like, the last three floors, but it's okay. I understand. Don't want to be too much of a greedy boy. It's, it's totally fine. All right, now we're just hoping that uh, we don't find Delirium right off the bat. We did not here, which is good. Neither one of those are very interesting to me. Maybe Divorce Papers was... I don't know how that tiers up works. I don't think it breaks the tier cap, so we might already actually be at our pretty close to our maximum tiers with uh, with cancer. Oh, we already did both of our secret rooms. So we don't need that. Just picking up any last minute consumables here. Forty three thousand is a pretty darn good score. Forty three thousand is a pretty darn good score. I'm happy to have uh, had it. There's nine bosses on this floor. I don't know if I've ever seen that many before. Like, that's a little ridiculous, right? Am I crazy in thinking that's a little ridiculous? Seems a little ridiculous to me. All right, let's continue. We're just waiting for Delirium, and then we Alt-F4. All right. Uh, yes, I will end the daily. Yes, baby! 31st. All right, I'll tell you what. That's a pretty good way to go out. If this is going to be our last daily for a little bit here... That makes me happy. That's a pretty solid way to go out. I know we're ending on a Thursday, which is weird because the mandem goes like Monday to Saturday, but or Sunday to Saturday, but you'll forgive me, I hope. Anyway, I got to go record a chess video and also figure out what's going on at work on New Year's. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, please consider showing some support down below. Liking, commenting, subscribing all help out a tremendous deal. Share with your grandmother as always. Um... As I said, this may be the end of the Isaac series for a little bit, but it will be back, and uh, maybe sooner than we realize. Tomorrow the trailer comes out, and if the trailer says Repentance comes out next week, the series ain't going anywhere. I'll try to somehow do it while moving. There's going to be a, a little period in there where I don't have internet that I literally just won't be able to do it, but uh, we'll keep it going, and, and if not, we'll we'll bring it back when the Repentance uh, release is on the, head, uh, on the horizon. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, if you watch chess, I'll see you tomorrow.